Oh. <laughs> I'd like to introduce my great grandparents, Sharon and Pat Devan. I have chosen to interview them today because they have traveled to many places around the world, including China. Thank you for helping me with this interview. My class is studying China right now, so I am interested in your trip to China. What would you like to share with my class about our trip to China? Well, we had a wonderful time in China. We uh, flew to Beijing, the capital of China, and spent some days there visiting Tiananmen Square and other places. We uh, flew to uh, another city and took a cruise on the Yangtze River and went up the river to the Three Gorges where the dam is all is completed now that will uh, uh, make a huge lake. Then uh, we flew to Shanghai which is a marvelous city. It's uh, if you took all the lights of New York, uh, Las Vegas and Los Angeles and put them all together they couldn't be as bright and colorful as Shanghai. So it's a great city. Also, we took a train there. They call it the Maglev, and it goes, I forgot, how many miles an hour does it go? 100 and 270, I 270. think. 270. We took the train from our around our hotel area to the airport, and uh, that is really fast traveling. The wheels do not touch the ground. It's, they float. It's magnetic. It's magnetic, reverse magnet. Well, that sounds very interesting. Would you like to teach my class a few words in Chinese? Well, one uh, word that is easy to remember is ni hama, which means hello. And if you remember, you have a ni, and how Indians said hello, how, and then you know you have a mother, ma, ni hama, hello. And zai jin is goodbye. And shia shia is good. And bukuchi is you're welcome. So we did learn some words there. I thought shia shia was thank you. Oh, I think shia shia is thank you. Yes, I'm sorry. Shia <laughs> shia is thank you. I forgot what no, good was. I see you have souvenirs. Would you like to tell us about them? Yes, we do have some souvenirs. Uh, here's an interesting one that uh, we brought back from China uh, that was uh, kings in ancient times had where they would give to their trusted uh, lieutenant. It's called a chop. And uh, what it is is like the um, seal uh, that was uh, kings in ancient times had where they would give to their trusted uh, lieutenant, their trusted aide, and he would have the authority to give orders by using that king's seal. So this is the seal, and it's at the bottom of this uh, chop. This chop here, and this is the ink, and I don't want to touch that ink because you can never get it, oh, oh I got some on my hand. I'll Pat. give you something. Yeah, <laughs> we'll never get it off now. And you press that into the uh, to the wax, Ink. heavily inked, and then you try sure. demonstrate it. Boy, I hate to do this. Uh. And you put this at the end of a document. And that means that the person that has that document is just as if you had signed it. This represents you. Yep. You want to lift it up and show it? You can, it's not too good. Here's the names. Well, uh, here's the three gorges. So actually we went from, let's see, I think we went from Ying Chang to the three gorges. Uh, we went over to here, Chonggong, Chongqing, and there's an interesting town called Fengdu, or city. It was uh, uh, actually, it was located originally 
where the water is going to rise and cover it all. So they have, uh, they've taken, uh, asked everybody to move out and they've gone on to higher ground and they built the city over again, a big beautiful city. But there are a lot of people that still live there that won't leave until the water is actually comes up. So there aren't too many, but there are people walking around do, conducting business and there's a couple of stores. They call it a ghost town. Thing do. This is a map of the river. It looks like a dragon almost. And this is what they printed on the back of the t-shirt. Those are some very interesting souvenirs you brought back. Do you know how to write in Chinese? A, a little bit. Um, a friend of mine uh, showed me how to write Psalms. That's a book in the Bible. It's about the middle of the Bible. And she showed me how to do that. And I have it here. I'll write it bigger. And this is this is how you write. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Psalms in Chinese, and it's interesting that this little square down here means the open mouth, because the word Psalms means song. And so this relates to the fact that your mouth is open when you're singing. Yes, in the Chinese Bible, that's the heading for the book of Psalms. My mom says you've been to many more places. We've made a map showing all of the places you've been. What are some of your favorite places to visit? Well, one of my most uh, memorable trips was to the Bible lands or the Holy Lands as they're called, where we were able to uh, visit uh, Israel and Jordan, uh, Greece, and uh, Rome, and, and various uh, places where events in the Bible took place. And it was interesting to stand on the very places that the events happened. I liked Italy. Uh, we had a wonderful time there, happy people. We went to an international convention there, uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, and uh, we had a wonderful time. What do you like about traveling to faraway places? For one thing, it's very exciting. You can't hardly sleep the night before you get ready to go. You're so excited. And then to actually be there, you just can't wait to get out and be on the street and mix with the people. It's very exciting to go to a place, particularly like China, where you don't understand a single word that they're saying. When we were in Tiananmen Square, it's absolutely huge, and the end of it is the Forbidden City. And we went in there where the emperors of China used to live, and we got to tour all the way through that. So it was very exciting. Do you try to learn a little of the language before you visit a different country? Yes, we, we sure do. It's always good to know a few words. Uh, my heart, The hardest language uh, or phrases I had to learn were in French, but I did have a lot of fun in Mexico City with Spanish and in uh, Italy uh, with Italian. Yeah, in French you can say, Je suis très enchanté de faire votre connaissance. Of course, in Spanish you'd say, Buenos dias. In Chinese you'd say, Ni hao ma. So in German, we're going to go to Germany um, this Ju uh, July, and you could say Guten Tag, which is good day. We know you have, will be traveling again in a few months. Where are you going, and what do you think it will be like? We are going to Munich, uh, Germany, for an international convention, and then we're going to take some side trips like uh, over to Frankfurt and various tours around uh, Germany. Thank you again for helping me with this interview. I appreciate it very much.
Well, we appreciate your yeah. asking us. Thanks, Anna. It's so nice to do this for your class. What's that, the third grade class? Second. Oh, second grade class. Okay, we, that. <laughs> we promoted you already. <laughs>